Hey y'all, it's your girl Chuck, and it's day 23 in our 100 miles a 30 day challenge, y'all. So today we are at McAlpine and Campbell um, Creek Greenway. Yep, so now we're off the path. We got the little self-made path from people walking through here, y'all. They're getting it in, y'all. So we had to get up a little bit earlier today. We had a little emergency that we had to go take care of. But thankfully it's taken care of. Everything is great, working fine. And we are out getting our little workout in. Yes, this park is beautiful, y'all. It's right by a creek. And it's a nice little creek too. It cut straight through. When we first came in, if I could have recorded it, it's a family down there and they're cooking out and everything in there. So, yep, we're out here getting it in, getting our time put in. What y'all doing? Y'all creating something for Mother's Day, getting the yard cleaned up for Mother's Day, getting your meal, pre meal prepared or out picking out your food for it. What you got going on? Ooh, we're going to go to my mom's house tomorrow. And we're going to, my niece is cooking us a meal, actually. So, we'll be over there enjoying our day and of course we're going to find a path or something that way so we can get our workout in because whenever it's nice we're going to get our workout in hey we got our workout in yesterday and it wasn't even nice <laughs> but it was worth it it was all for a good cause and so many people came out and supported my not all together collectively because you know we're social distancing but together collect collectively in spirit Ooh, okay. Don't need to fall already. <laughs> Cause y'all gonna see it. <laughs> yeah. I look at that a couple years ago like now. Why did I edit that? I know y'all been watching my videos and stuff, and I don't edit none of this stuff. Just keep it moving so you can see it's real. I want you to see in real time how we hike through these little paths. And you know, I would have never called myself a hiker. I was, hiking always made me think of Going up a mountain and scaling up the side of rocks and stuff as they're falling. And I don't plan on doing nothing like that now, y'all. But I, like I said, you never know where life takes you. So I could possibly say that and mess around. And next year, y'all see me hiking up the mountain. Like, oh, look at y'all. I found a new thing I love to do. Because if you're not doing it, you haven't done it, then you don't know if you like it or not, you know? So that's what's up. You got to get out there and find some things that you like. Some things that you should always say, I'm not going to do it. I will never. You know, never, never land. Don't be a never, never land. Because a lot of times when we say, I will never, we're eating them words right back up. So we need to know that in life, we go through different trials and tribulations. It takes us different ways and paths but we don't never know where we're gonna go you know we can plan have goals and sometimes life takes us off of those plans off of those goals out of that path and we find that we actually like certain things more than we did so okay this path that's why we were talking <laughs> brought us to another way i think we probably should have stayed on the other path bring us to the creek look at this y'all clear water crystal clear beautiful water it's not blue <laughs> but it's beautiful yep so we're gonna have to go back through that path now we just go down here and make a right turn here. well we're gonna take another path Yep, nothing never, nothing always goes as planned. You can make a go, you can put it like if you wanted to, and sometimes it blows up way huger than you would ever thought that that you would ever imagined that it would do. And sometimes it flops because that was not your purpose. That was not what you were supposed to do in life. So that's life. You got to keep rolling with the punches. 
one thing about it is it's usually better than what you anticipated, better than you expected it to be. And we're going to some apartments. So we're going to go the other way. Yep, this brought us right to some apartments. We saw a lady carrying some groceries. We should have known <laughs> that this was going to bring us to a habitat, which is cool. Which is what's up. It's beautiful. Out here. Nobody's out here around us. So we don't have to worry about no coughing or nothing. It's just us and our thoughts and nature just guiding us and leading us and chiseling us and molding us into who and what we're supposed to be, y'all. That's what life is supposed to be about. Go after it. Grab it by the horns. Whew. I got a hold of my middle school yearbook today and I tell you, going back and reading those comments that people comment on there, it's amazing to look back and be like, wow, I'm not even in touch with none of these people no more really, except Laura, who have y'all seen me walking with lately, me and her, we were in middle school together from 6th to ninth grade, then she went off to another school and she came back to West Charlotte during his 12th grade year. We were in chorus together. I sung chorus from 6th to 12th grade. I sung chorus in Spanish. So we were kind of, um, I had been making, I had been making juices and she came by and bought a couple of juices from me. And ever since we've been pretty hanging out pretty steadily, which is cool. That's one thing, you know, sometimes you can go away from something, put it down. I mean, it's been 20, over 20 years since we've been around each other. I mean, I'll be 40 this year. So that's like 22 years. I was 18. No, I wasn't even 18 yet because I graduated when I was 17. I was right before my 18th birthday. Because I'm a summer baby, drive them crazy. <laughs> so yeah, I was 17 years old, almost 18. Wow, and I'm about to be 40. Amazing. And we just caught back up and got right back around each other like nothing ever happened. That's how it is sometimes. You get off the path. You get off of everything that you're used to doing and being and being around. And then suddenly you get back around it, get back into it, get back on that path. And it's like you never left it. It's amazing. How life turns out, y'all. If you just live it. If you just be a part of it. If you just thrive in it. Everything is not peaches and cream. But at the end of your hard work becomes a beautiful cake. No matter what. <laughs> so, that's what we gotta do. You know, when bad things happen, push through. You can give your chance a little bit of time to feel it and get up out of it. Don't sit in it. Don't wall in it. Don't spread it around to everybody. And like I said, I'm talking to myself because I'm a big person with that. You know, I'm a talker, obviously. And I am the type of person who, when I'm going through something or whatever, I feel like I should vent. I'm a venter. Let's say that. So whenever something happens to me, I normally vent to people around me, and after I vent to them, I release it. That's my release. That's how I release the negative energy, but at the same time, I'm not really thinking of how, that. How, what am I doing, what I was doing by spreading all that negativity around. You know, somebody do something to me, and I'm going around telling everybody, Oh man, I can't believe she did this. I can't believe he did that. These people are the worst. And da 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 da. And I'm painting this picture of these people that they never even seen. They never seen that person act like that. So I'm giving them a picture of these people. And that's not the cool thing to do. I shouldn't have been doing it. I'm going to try not to do that. I'm going to start trying to journal. Because I like to write as well. So I'm going to start trying to journal those things and release it that way i don't paint a negative picture of people to other people because if they haven't seen it i don't need to be the one displaying it to other people you know let them see for themselves 
how somebody's relationship is, you know. That's how I deal with my son and his dad. You know, if he, just because he wasn't in his life and he wasn't around all the time, I wasn't depicting a negative image of him of what I had experienced from him. So I didn't have my son thinking like, oh, this guy is the worst. I was just letting my son actually see for himself who his dad is. And that way he can choose his relationship with him, you know. And that's what I need to start doing with everyone when they wrong me or whatever. I don't need to depict that picture of them being this negative person. You know, I need to depict this picture of them being a positive person and whatever and let people depict their own picture of these people you know so that's one of the, one of my goals that i'm working on you know as i'm trying to better myself and as i said i am you always talking to myself when i'm on here i really appreciate you for watching for helping me grow as i grow and learn to do things in a better way in a better light in a more positive light because I don't need to be out here spreading no negativity because negativity is everywhere. You can find negativity without looking for it. You can jump right into it if you want to, you know. Like they say, when you wake up, your first 20 minutes, you can determine your day by how you react to waking up. Are you waking up with a smile? Like, oh, wow, this is going to be the best day ever. This life right here, I can't wait to see what I'm going to do. And you can kind of mold yourself into what you want to what you expect your day to be like so that is the goal you know I try to wake up every day in a positive mind frame and like I said my beautiful daughter Samaj she always wakes up all happy hey pretty girl I see you and it always makes me feel so positive and I guess because I've always done that to her as well whenever I see her wait whenever she wakes up I always wake her up like that so and she does the same to me so it's um this way and so it's you know that's the way we need to just start doing Waking up like, hey, pretty girl, how are you today? Or, hey, handsome, how are you today? Get up and tell yourself that when you get up, you know. Start motivating yourself and pushing yourself in a positive manner. In a positive aspect, you know. That's just the thing that we got to do. We got to push ourselves to be the best version of ourselves at all times, you know. I'm trying to, as I'm looking over here, y'all, you know, majority of the time, I got to watch what I'm doing when I'm walking. Because I've already said, look at my knee, though. It is majorly healed. A lot of the pigmentation has came back in. I got a little spot left. And tomorrow would make a whole month. So, I think I've healed pretty good. So, you know, I got to watch what I'm doing and keep my balance because I sure don't want to fall off well, of this track. And plus, you know, we like to walk in the woods. We like to be beside the trees and stuff. And now we came back onto a path, which has rocks and stuff. It's open. We're still around trees and stuff, but I like to be surrounded by them. It's a whole different vibe when you're surrounded by trees and, you know, let's go over there. We go to path over there, I think. That looks like the path we're looking for where we're gonna be in the woods. That's one of the things that's like the a grounding place. It really would be good to walk without any shoes on through here because it really will ground you. You know, being on cement and those rocks and stuff. Well rocks are a little bit more natural, but they was put there, you know. I wanna be on what was there. What was there first. You know, the original ground. <laughs> yep. But we are really out here getting it. Look at these little... I don't know if that's actually cotton or whatever. If you know, please comment below and let me know. I always call them make-a-wish little things. And I always pick them up and blow it off and make me a wish and hope that it comes true. <laughs> so, that's the thing. 
that I usually do with them. That's what I usually call them. So my sister calls them A1 from the movie Avatar, you know, the tree of life when they went down there and they all jumped onto the guy, the main character. I forget what his name is right now, but you know, yeah, so whatever. We all always, you know, look at that as some type of luck or some type of something to help us gain a wish, <laughs> you know? So, we done left from over there where the creek is. I guess this would be a little dry creek when it rains. It probably fills up. And we're right behind some apartments. But... We are still in the woods, as you can see. And that's what I like to be surrounded by these trees and all these original things. Some of them are not, but you know, it's all natural. And that's the way to be, all natural. On your own natural vibe, on your own way. If you notice, all these trees, not two of them are the same. Not two of them grow the same. Not two of them are the same species. Not two of them are doing anything that's remotely the same. You might look at one or two of them together and say, wow, these trees kind of look alike. Like me and my sister, we kind of look alike. <laughs> You know, a lot of people say, oh, yeah, twins. But at the same time, we're not the same. We think differently. We do things differently. And that's how it is. That's just how life is. So the whole main thing is to be you. Be what you were created to be. And live your life how you want to live it. And what you think is po in a positive way, though. Don't live your life the way you want to live in a negative manner to where you're hurting anyone. So if you're doing any hurt, harm, or danger to anyone, even yourself, it's not the thing to do. It's not the thing to do. That's not the way to live. And you cannot be prosperous and peaceful by doing things like that. So we have to learn how to not harm no one. And actually be out here helping people, you know? We have to all collectively together become as one and figure out a way. When you see somebody struggling, just at, it's like second nature for you to go over and help them, you know, if you can. And if you can't, maybe you can find somebody who can. But if not, you can get an encouraging word and keep it moving. But even that encouraging word, you never know. That's like a seed planted that's been dropped into the ground. Even though... You don't see that seed growing. Sometimes you might drop a seed and you don't even get to see that plant grow. But somebody else gets to come and reap the benefits of that fruit that you've planted. So don't never think that words that you're saying to people, things you're doing to help people are going in vain. If they're not responding or anything, don't never think of it as... Oh, this person's just being ignorant. Oh, I can't believe they just not even paying me no attention. <laughs> Talking to myself today because I just now told my sister something about the story earlier. How I was not, nobody was paying attention to me saying, somebody wasn't paying attention to me saying something nice about them. And it's okay. One thing about it is, they didn't say anything, but somebody else commented up under there. And will reap the benefits because they'll call that person and get them to come over there and cut their grass or whatever, you know. So, it's just alright. It's okay. We, things don't happen all at the same time, at the same speed. People don't see it at the time you do it. And don't feel like that your words were in vain. Don't feel like your things are in vain you know just because somebody baked you a cake and you say oh this was the best cake ever i just so love this cake and i sure appreciate you doing it. and you get them a shout out somebody says oh you know what i need a cake for mother's day can you um and they shout that person out maybe that person makes them a cake and the person never tells you oh thank you for letting me letting that letting everybody know that i made a cake for you then i'll stop looking for the reward all the time because you won't always see it you may not always see it that way it might come a different way 
and I'm talking to myself, of course, because like I said, I'm talking to myself and it resonates with anyone else, that's good, and if not, I appreciate you for listening. So on that note, I'm going to finish this beautiful walk up under these nice huge trees and see the rest of this park. And if y'all get a chance, please come out and check it out. Because it is a nice little walk. A nice little relaxing walk. So it's three miles down, three miles up. So it should be six miles by the time we make it back to the car. I got to get home so I can go back a cake. And y'all enjoy your day. And as always, I cannot wait to see you. Ha, 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 every day. Hey, whoo, this right here is working your whole glutes and everything. Yeah. <sighs> Look at this part, y'all. I had to cut my camera back on for this. See that lake? That is nice. They got open field over here on this side. I'll just show you something. <laughs> You know, my sister don't like to be on camera. But this is nice, beautiful. Come out here and fish, bring the kids. You can have a picnic over here. Feed the ducks. It's nice. Y'all should come check this out. As we make it to the three mile mark. <laughs> Yay! You told Harpo to beat me. <laughs> this right here. Make you think when uh, Suge was on her way to the church and she was marching, she was like, Speak, Lord, speak to me. <laughs> this is how it feels, y'all. Look at it. Well, you know, it's here in North Carolina, but it wasn't here, but it just makes you think and feel that way. So I had to put this little clip in for y'all to see it. So you can feel it like we feel it. Speak loud. <laughs> hey y'all, it's your girl Chuck. We're on our last leg of this walk at McAlpine Creek Greenway. And it's also Campbell Creek Greenway. They kind of intertwine within each other. We're just about to finish it up. So you see how slow we're walking now. <laughs> so we have made it to 100 miles, but we're not stopping now y'all. We still got seven more days to do this thing. Like from the beginning, I told y'all, we most likely going to finish with more than 100 miles. But that was our goal, and we made it. We made it. We made it. But that's not why I pulled this back out for a second. I really wanted to talk about, you know, it's so weird when you walk by people and nobody speaks. You're looking right in the eye, eye contact, and nobody says, hey, or at least, hmm. You know, it's weird. I guess because I was scolded so much when I was younger when we used to go to Oklahoma every summer. And my Aunt Betty's like, what you think, you better than everybody? Because you can't speak to nobody when you walk by them. When you see them, you make eye contact, you say, hey. So it's just kind of weird now. And I mean, it's always been like that. But I guess I've noticed it more now because we're out walking around and seeing a lot more people now. And everybody's just all about their business. Like, mm -hmm. oh, there they go. Oh, they looking. Let me put my head down. <laughs> So it's just weird. I wanted to share that. See what y'all think about that. Alright, until next time, y'all have a great day. As always, I cannot wait to see you.